Well, hello, everyone. It's Thursday, July 21st, 2022. I am Doug. It's time for Wordle 397. Daniel writes, that was hard work. Not really sure what you're referring to, as this comment was probably left a few weeks ago, but uh, congratulations on the, the job well done. I almost need to start with a drink next time. Ah, you and me both, my friend. You and me both. Anyhow, let's start with the drinking. I'm down with that drink. Gets me a D and an I. Out of position. By the way, this is uh, diet cranberry juice. Uh, for those wondering, uh, I do, in fact, uh, wordle responsibly. A drink. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do for our next uh, evaluation word? Um, ooh, let's see. We got a lot of different directions we can go here. Uh, how about we could do those? I'm going to try the word those. Looks like we get five solid letters there. Okay, so those gets me the D in the H and the I now all out of position. Uh, okay, let's see. Hmm, do I want to try to get some intel on these letters? Do I want to get more evaluation or a little bit of both? Um, I feel like perhaps the H is probably going to be could possibly be in the first position. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with the other letters, though. Uh, nothing immediately comes to mind. Um, of course, those who watch this channel a lot know that when it makes sense, I love using the word fudgy as my third guess. I would actually get D intel and four additional letters, so maybe this will spark a hot thought in my head. No, it does not. <laughs> But at least I know uh, that we're down to only three places the D can be. If we go with my H theory, that means there's only two places it could be. Um, so something like the word humid comes to mind, but we've looked at the U, so it's not going to be humid. Um, hmm. Uh, that's interesting to me. So now we've got a, an interesting little spot here. Um, I'm pretty confident we have another consonant of unknown origin that we have to plug into here as well. Um, hmm. Boy, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out in my brain a good evaluation word. It would start with H, maybe use the A. Um, uh, I could look at the, we could look at the B and I. Um, we could try habit. So it would get me, it would... Help me with my thought about the A B. I'm sorry, the H being in the first spot. Uh, it would let me know if there's also an A hanging out there. It'll test the B. It'll get me some I intel. We know the T is going to be useless here. Uh, but I feel like at least this gets me in the right direction. So I think I'm going to go with habit here. Okay, so habit. <laughs> well, I guess if we're looking at any good news here, it's that we have the I locked in. We do know there's also an A in there. So we really have four letters. Uh, we just don't necessarily have the first one since it's not a D or an H. Um, I have a funny feeling that that A is either going to be in the third or the fifth spot. I don't think the A is going to be in the first spot here. So... How about we look at the D in the second spot? The D has to be, oh, that's interesting. The D has to be in the second or the fifth spot. So maybe the D needs to be in the last spot. Um, so if we take blank, blank, blank ID, and then we take, so the H in this scenario has to be in the third spot, H ID. Um, and we have the A has to be in the first spot. So we A blank H I D. Oh, oh boy. This is a tricky word, but aphid, A P H I D. Oh my goodness. I've got a feeling that's our answer here. Uh, that's a tricky word. Well, folks, if you are new to this channel because you came here because aphid was the solve, uh, thank you for watching. I'm adorable and I'd love for you to like and subscribe. 
and leave a comment with your favorite starting word. All right, with the cheap plug out of the way, uh, are we, in fact, on the road to an aphid? Yes, we are. All right. Well, Daniel, thank you for that suggestion. Thank you for watching. It was an exciting puzzle. We'll see you tomorrow with some more Wordle.